All right, Charlie Abrigo is here from the Gladys Porter Zoo with our zoo guests of the week. And as you guessed it, we have another snake. But another this snake. One, <laughs> this one is the smallest of them all because she's a baby. A lot different. Yeah, this is actually um, a California king snake. Um, and it's a baby. It's a hatchling. So it's only a few months old. It's uh, new at the Gladys Porter Zoo um, in the education department. And she'll, she needs a lot of growing to do. And they're from the United States. Uh, they're kind of more uh, Western uh, snakes. But one thing, um, she'll get maybe three to four feet in length. Um, I'm saying she, I don't really know if it's a boy or girl yet, but we'll just call her she, we'll just call her so she calm, right now. Right? <laughs> and, uh, but no, one interesting thing about king snakes in general is that they um, are immune to other types of venom, well, venom from other snakes. So they are known, once they get a little bit larger, to eat other venomous snakes as part wow. of their diet. Yeah. So they're, they're another good safe snake, just like the Texas indigo I've you know, brought in the past, that black snake that's coming oh, in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one, um, they, they're, they can eat other snakes and they're immune to a snake venom. And it's nice that you have a new addition to the education center because you were telling me that a lot of students are coming to the zoo right now. Yeah, we have uh, just today we had a few buses come into the zoo and I got to work and I was like, whoa, where are all these kids come from? But no, it's a great time. The weather is perfect for the zoo right now. And a little and cooler. Yeah, yeah a little it's cooler. Great. The animals are a little bit more active, so they're walking around. So the kids really enjoy it. And also um, Thursdays and Fridays, the zoo does do um, animal presentations near the sea lion exhibit. So um, the kids that they get, go with the school get to kind of benefit and watch that presentation and get up close to animals like this. Yeah, very cool. And speaking of walking around, next week is Thanksgiving on Thursday. And you guys are actually open, so this is an opportunity to walk off that turkey. <laughs> yes, a lot of people ask us, are you open for Thanksgiving? Yes, we are open every single day. So you can, after you had your meal, maybe if you had a lunch, a Thanksgiving lunch, you can go out to the zoo, walk it off. And then, of course, at, in the beginning of December, we're going to have our Christmas event or holiday event. It's uh, December 4th, 5th, and 6th. Yeah, so you light up the entire zoo? Yeah, the, the zoo will be lit up in different uh, sections and, of course, animal themed because we are the zoo. Yeah. And it'll be really nice. It's a really great event to go and visit. Well, I'm excited. This will be my first Christmas down here in the valley, yes. so it'll be very beautiful to see it all decorated. And I'm just excited that you're half, uh, open on Thanksgiving. And yes, I, me you too. Because a lot of people <laughs> are looking for stuff to do or yeah. to go see the movies. And yeah. Or check out cool little snakes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie, well, for bringing you. her he in.